Hey YouTube, I'm Brad Apps here, and today I'm going to show you how to send SMS from your from your app. So pretty much, this this can send SMS out of your app, but it can't receive SMSs. Um, that actually is against the private APIs, but sending it from an app is perfectly fine. So uh, let's start by making a new project, any type of application you want. Uh, name it. I'll name it Mine SMS. Now the first thing you want to do is go to Frameworks, right-click it, go to Existing Frameworks, scroll down until you find Message UI of Framework, add that in. Now go to whatever class your XIB is linked with, and in the .h or the .m, either one doesn't make a difference, but I prefer the .h, import um, the start arrow, the you start arrow message UI slash message UI dot H okay now you are going to add an IB action so the uh, dash space start parentheses IB action and I'll name mine send SMS okay now let's add an action for that send SMS method Now, actually, uh, a lot of people like uh, when I start coding while I'm talking about it. But in this case, since it's actually really quick, I'm just going to copy and paste it. In the future, I'll just uh, read it out. Just because uh, I know like some people like that better. It just fits their style more. All right, so pretty much I'm just going to want to copy this code. Here, I'll make this full screen so you can see this more. Okay. So in the first line, you have MF message compose view controller space asterisk whatever you want to name it space equal to space start bracket start bracket start bracket MF message compose view controller space alloc and bracket space init i n i t and bracket space auto release and bracket semicolon. Next line, we're going to make an if statement. Um, so pretty much, it's this testing if the like it's just actually yeah it's testing if the device can send SMS in this little if statement here so it'd be if start parentheses start bracket MF message compose view controller space can send text and bracket and semicolon next line start bracket uh, next line controller or whatever you named it dot body now this in this code you can actually make a body and most of the tutorials I found on the internet, they uh, di didn't have like a little part where you can make a body out of it. You can just have a recipient, and I didn't like that. So I finally got the code where you can make the body. So in this body, I'm just going to say hi, and you can have it to whatever you want. So it would be controller.body, space equal to space, at, uh, start quotation, whatever you want, whatever you want in between these quotations, and then the end quotation, semicolon, next line, Controller dot recipients, uh, space equal space start bracket ns array space array with objects colon. Now here you you can put in recipients, but uh, most likely you're not going to put in any recipients unless it's like a specific business or something like that. Um, but otherwise, if there was a recipient, you would go uh, at then start quotation then business and bracket and then you do if you want then you do end bracket comma and then space no make sure you always have the nil after any at, at and then whatever your string is so be ready with objects colon nil and bracket semicolon next line controller dot message compose delegate space equals space self semicolon next line uh, start bracket self present mode out view controller colon controller make sure you replace controller with whatever you named it uh, but if you left this controller just leave it as is space animated colon yes and bracket semicolon now you can actually add your own animation or whatever you want but in this animation it's going from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen but if you want, you can add another line of code here from any other modal view controller switching animation tutorials. 
all over YouTube and the internet. And it's add a line for whatever animation you want. Otherwise, yes would be just go from the bottom, and no, nothing at all. It would just pop up. So in this case, I put yes. And then uh, next line would be end bracket, end bracket, to end the IB action. Now, I'm actually just going to make another quick code here. It's like a helper method, but it's not needed. So, if you don't need any more code, and you want to leave it as is, just forget about what I'm about to code here. But I recommend doing it. So, make an IB outlet for a UI label. Then add, uh, add an at property for it. I'll leave it there for a second so you can copy it down, or you can pause the video. Now you're going to add synthesize that add property that you just made in the dot m. All right. Now you're going to add this void helper method. Make sure you have the pragma mark uh, definitions here before the co the void statement. So after this ib action or before wherever you want, just copy this in. Uh, the void. Uh, it's add this void method and make sure you have like the brown code here in the top. Now, pretty much here, it's it's uh, you can. I'm adding a label, so it'll show if the SMS sent, it didn't send, if it failed, canceled, stuff like that. And this is pretty much like a helper method. And I think it's pretty useful. You can put an NS log. You can put it. Yeah, you can put an NS log anywhere you want, so you can see if it you know works like the way you want it to. But otherwise, this is going to work perfectly fine, and you can do without this code or with it. But I recommend putting it in because it just helps it. All right, so um, oh yeah, and the dot h makes you add this code. Actually, it's not really code; it's like a delegate. So you can do mf message compose. Hold on, I have it here. Dot h. M yeah, mf message compose view controller delegate. Now build that. All right, no warnings. You can check here. Yep, yeah, no warnings. If you do get a warning, just make sure you put in that little delegate method there. All right, now in your resources, go to wherever your XIB is, and um, I'm just gonna add a quick button. Send. Man, I always mess up that send. I don't know why. Send text, and I'm gonna put a label in to go with that helper method. All right. Now send SMS, add it to the IB action, touch up inside, and then feedback message to the UI label. Now I don't think in the simulator it's actually going to work because it is the simulator and the simulator can't send SMS, but it should show an alert view. See? So if you click send to, uh, SMS, it'll show a nice alert view saying it cannot send message and it's not uh, enabled on this device. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I re yeah, that helper method is pretty much needed, but once the user actually does send SMS, you can uh, have a label here if it's sent or not, but most likely you're going to want to get rid of it, but as a developer, just before you release it and stuff, just, you can test here if it works the way you want it to work. So, uh, thanks for watching, uh, the, the code works fine, just test it on the device, um, but on the simulator it will not work, and um, Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments, rate the video, and uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.